Albinism is a genetic disorder that's little to no pigmentation in your hair, skin, and eyes. So I'm a black woman, African American, but I have very fair skin, light eyes, and blonde hair, which makes me have albinism. I believe at 18 years old, you're signed up with an elite company, um, and you're the first uh, albino model, if I'm correct, right? Yes, I am the first model with albinism to be signed to a major modeling agency. Um, I was scouted when I was 18 years old by a photographer, Shamir Khan, and um, I've, been, I've had opportunities to model before then, but that's when my career really kicked off and I started getting into this world. As a professional model that you are, um, do you feel that it's harder to break in to get more projects that you want to work in or is it easier? Right. No, I don't feel like it's harder or easier. I think that anyone who has a different look or um, who is not a cookie cutter girl in this industry does um, in encounter some challenges. Um, you know, they have a certain look that they want. Um, but that they classify as beautiful. And that's why I'm here pretty much, to redefine that, that classification because I believe that there, there's beauty in different colors, shapes, and sizes. And so that's what I want to be vocal about. What do you think your audience will learn from um, your experience as a, as a model? I, I, just, I want to take the audience on the experience. I want them to be, to feel what I went through as a child. Growing up with albinism, um, it wasn't easy for me. I got teased a lot. People didn't understand. I didn't know how to explain what albinism was. I wasn't very vocal about it. I just, you know, it was just me and it made me shy away from a lot of things. So I want people to understand what it is and to be more accepting of different kinds of beauties. Albinism is a condition and that doesn't make me any different. That doesn't make me have any less feelings than anyone else, but I do want to um, promote diverse beauties in this industry. Um, I think it's important for the world to see people with albinism, people with vitiligo, you know, people who have different kinds of disabilities, so to say, but that they still are beautiful. <laughs>